what's up guys out here waiting for the truck to warm up and just wanted to talk a little bit about systems and how you should probably think about every single aspect of your business when it comes to systems and so for me I just really wanted to cover I think there's like six basic ones so I'm just gonna start rallying them off so the first one's gonna be communication so you want to organize your communication with your team with your external team so like people adding stuff to your inbox so that systems like slack microsoft teams synonymous there essentially and the other one for external is email so having slack for your internal team your clients and then email for like an external checklist that people can add to now another one is project management project management can be a lot of things to a lot of different a lot of different things to a lot of different people. I think for most of the people that I work with, it works best to have something like Trello, like Asana, or like Monday.com, or even Airtable, if it's set up right, as your project management tool. Now, there's certain ways that you should be setting this up, with like an agile design. So you have like a sprint, you have a backlog, you have different projects, you have different checklists that correspond to different processes in your business. So that's project management. Now, another one you'll have is a CRM, and I think this can be very well executed in Airtable. However, I do think if you have an email list, then having something like Active Campaign, having something like ConvertKit, those are very effective in maintaining that. But as far as like taking appointments and stuff like that, I think you can manage all of that very effectively in Airtable and have that integrated with Slack so that you can have that communication. Now on the note of communication, I think some very useful systems that you want to have for like meetings. Meeting design is, I go into it in a lot more depth in another video, but having like Zoom, having Google Docs on each of your Google Calendar meetings, that's really going to optimize your meetings so that you always have like, say you remember something, oh, I want to talk about that during that meeting. Then you just go put it on that Google Doc that's attached to that Google account, that recurring Google Calendar event with your team. And then you bring it up during the meeting and you don't have to worry about like, oh, where did I put that? Oh, it's in the agenda. Perfect. In the Google Doc. And I didn't even have to create a new meeting on Zoom because it's automatically linked up. Now, another system that you want to think about building out is your processes. Now, processes can be managed a few different ways. And there's a lot of different ways that a lot of different people like to do it. Some people like to just record a Loom video, like here's how I do it, here's the step-by-step, -step. you go watch this, you train somebody new, hire them, and there's your process for that. So you can just go watch this Loom video. Some people like to take that, put it into words, so you like you have a Word document, here's every single thing we do in our process. And if you want to take that a step further, you could make like a checklist in Airtable, you could make that like repeatable, or you could add a checklist in Asana, but there's not really some, as much pictorials as there is with so maybe you integrate both of those. Now, probably the best option is a tool called Process Street, and you build out all your processes in there. Say it's something random, like hiring, firing, offboarding, something that doesn't happen very often, especially in small businesses, then you might build something out in Process Street where it goes really in-depth, and you can just hand it off to anyone and have them do it. Now, another thing is hiring. I just mentioned so if you have a hiring process I think there's a really good way to do it and it's a really bad way the really bad way is the way everybody else does it the really good way is to have as much front loaded on the external party as possible and that's a point that I get in in a lot of my systems is if you can have the client do it if you can have the customer if you can have like whoever not that you have leverage on them but whoever wants something from you if you can have them do as much of the work as possible and transfer as much of the information as possible, that's going to be ideal. So for like a hiring process, you have a really in-depth form, you have a really in-depth application process, say it includes a video. That way you get to skip the first 10 minutes of the interview. Or if it's like anything else, it's really gonna take your hiring process down. And then instead of like maybe doing as many interviews, you can just send out automated tests or automated quizzes. And then you can really vet them before even like talking to them. You can delegate that to a VA, like, hey, compare these candidates. It's a lot easier when you just have the information sitting in front of you. And then you're also not as emotionally biased as like in the moment, like, oh, they just said that and it's in the moment. They have they also have some time to prepare, so you can give and you take with that. So that was just sort of my brain dump on just some of the systems you need. So like 
communication systems, your CRM, that could be an Airtable, the communication in Slack, and your project management, that could be Airtable, Asana, I think is best managed in Asana. And then like for asset management, I see that best fit for Airtable. So you have Slack for communication, email for external communication. You have project management in like Asana, Monday, Trello. You have your CRM, your email list managed in like something like Active Campaign Convert Kit. You have your actual CRM with like times people want to speak with you, managed like an Airtable and Calendly. Ideally, I know I didn't mention Calendly, but use Calendly. I'm not going to get into websites, but that should answer most of your questions. So if you have like recurring meetings, attaching that Google, using your G Suite, attaching that Google Calendar with a Zoom meeting and also linking up that Google Doc with that recurring meeting agenda. So I hope that was really helpful. I hope you have a better idea of some of the systems you should be using in your business and building out those processes, say in Process Street or Airtable or just a Google Doc or a Loom like I often shoot up in my room and give out to my YouTube channel. So I hope this was really helpful. If you're curious about how to set up all the communication systems in your business, go check out this video right here is the end screen in this video and you can learn it's like a 20 minute in depth about internal communication external communication and asynchronous communication synchronous communication as well as like zoom meetings and agenda so go check out that video and let me know what you think and keep having a good day and i hope this is helpful